Hi, welcome to day two of this restoration project. Today is a Saturday, so there are quite a few other builders here, so I apologize for the noise in advance. The plan for today is we're gonna try to finish up cleaning the engine bay. I would also like to try to have another look at how to remove those windows in the rear. And then I hope that I can do some tests on how to remove the paint, how far we have to remove it, which tools we're gonna be able to use so that we can get an idea of the amount of work that is awaiting us. So the good news is I've found a video that describes how to remove and replace those windows. And actually, if you see here, you have a little strip of rubber that seems to be a bit harder than the other rubber that's inside. So you basically, you pull that out and then you should be able apparently to remove these windows. All right, here's the current situation of the engine bay. And today we're gonna try to remove the last bits of water, start to clean up those areas underneath the motor. I just discovered some oil receivers, like pans, that are, I guess, supposed to catch the oil that's leaking. So that's a little unnerving. I'm not sure if that's like the normal thing to do with this kind of old diesel motors or if the previous owner actually did that because the motor was leaking oil heavily so yeah let's see all right i managed to remove those oil pans and get out quite a bit of that goo that's in between yeah by the way i found this thing which is a bilge pump so it's supposed to pump out the water that accumulates down in the bilge as our last task for today, I'm going to start to rip out this side of the wall covering panels so that we can also see the bare metal there, just as we did yesterday for this side. Right, just to show you, then here is actually water coming from out there. All right, let's keep pulling and see what we find. I'm gonna stop there simply because it's starting to get too dark to continue today. But uh, here we can see the exact same situation as on the other side. We have pretty decent amount of rust, everything on this side. And here you can actually see, you can see pretty much that like right about until here. Yeah, maybe a little further, but anyway, here with the two boards, you can see this one was several times completely soaked over a period of time. And this one seems to be in much better shape. So I really hope that the, the leak is really only coming from the rear part of these windows. But yeah, anyway, we're going to check all of them before we put this boat on the water again. All right, that concludes day two of this restoration project. I spent most of today just digging around in the engine bay, digging up some goo, old mortar oil, rainwater and grease, and managed to advance a little in the rear cabin. Yeah, and I didn't even get to work a little on the outside to do some tests to see how difficult or easy it's gonna be to remove these coats of paint, which tools to use the best, etc. But there's another day tomorrow and I hope to see you there.